Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, it is your boy, Son of Beast, and I have a new commentating that will be here for the sport game. Meet Wood Spoonie, as you already have seen him in preseason, but as of right now, he's, he's here with us. That's right there guys, it is a new day for the new season to begin here for the season opener. As of right now, this is Chukai Sports, Season 8. That is right. We definitely have finally made it, and there's only two seasons before the 10th season of 10 years of the season for our, of NBA 2K Sports to the 26th of the year. That is right, and I'm guessing we are ready to see for our newest matchups. We are so excited to have you to bring us here for a new game. That is correct. As we're seeing things right on board, we have some new players that are here with us and some other franchise players that have been traded to the team. For example, Damian Lillard, he left with the Blazers and now he's with Team Giannis of Anacubo the Bucks. Also, on the other one, James Harden left the Sixers and he has no idea where he will be now, but you'll find him soon enough. And as will be said, there might be another confusion of what's going to happen with those players in between because we have no idea what will be happening right here from there. And this is a top breaking there guys, a tough one as we're looking for after this part of the game. It might be a tough one that everyone's going to count for. Yeah, that's exactly true. But as of right now, we are ready to bring things in the game and get started for our first game of the night. As we're stepping in right now, this is what the team we are looking for to find out who they are. The first two teams are ready to take things on. We have the Toronto Raptors. They will be playing home in Toronto at the Scotty Bank Arena to face against the Memphis Grizzlies of the visiting team. We see the Grizzlies winning against the Knicks back in their first game of last year, and now for this year of the season, we're seeing if the Grizzlies can win this one again. What is your take there, Wooden Spooty? Well, there might be a chalk one to say, but I got a good feeling of Jer John Morant. He's been a lot of a heavy uh, players in the point guard position, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna definitely gonna try and keep an eyes on him, and do his best, and then keep it right in position. I'm hoping it's a good choice to keep an eyes on him, and hopefully we'll see how well he does for his regular game. Right now here are the starting lineups of the group. We have Ms. Desmond Bain, John Conchar, Santi Aldama, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Bismack Bayambo. On the other side of the Toronto Raptors, we got is Dennis Schroeter, OG Anarobi, Scotty Bonds, Pascal Siakam, and Jacoby Pearl. Now let's set gets things started as right now we are underway here at Scotty Bank Arena in Toronto and we have a scoreboard changing differently we have a little bit of an update so you'll never know what to expect of what change is possible let's get going there with Spoonie and the first commentating of the group I have with me is life ring that's right Hey folks, how's everything going on with you? Well, I've been doing it good so far. Ready for the first game? And here we go. I am so impressed. I am so hyped. Ready to go. Okay, let's get in and get started. It is the town town of Toronto, as right now, the Raptors are ready to take the face on right against the uh, visiting team. As right now with the post of players in down, we've got the tough ones to be here. Grizzlies and Raptors, coming up right after this break. Hello. 
Hello everyone, as we are ready to get this thing into the game, and we are here at Scotia Bank Arena. Right now with me and a group, we have is David Aldrich standing by on the court side. And as I now, let's see what we have. So here is a, one of the players that we are all calling for. Let's see how they are getting this thing done, and we're about to find out what it is about. And if these are the key matchups, we're ready to get things set. Here we go. And these are the tough ones. I'm ready to see who they are and are ready to get this thing in the game. Well, this is our first time, and I'm thinking this is the, the uh, opening game. We're ready to get these things started. Right now, the ball is tipped, and we are all set to go. Fueled up and ready to go. Here's the cover for the starting group. We have his Aldema on Scotty Barnes. Then we have his Bain right on Dennis Schroeder. Jaron Jackson Jr., he's coming up here by Pascal Siakam. Then his Portal right on to, right on to Aldema by Bayomo. And Conchar on to OG Ananobi. Now, we were saying this one here before. This was how the tough one starts here beginning. What we have a good calling and this one that we are looking for. The start of your run has to go with the Raptors zone that they've already lost in the ninth against the 10th seed of the Chicago Bulls. This was the last part of the NBA play-in tournament that they've already been losing their streak on. How does it really take over if they are trying to get this thing back in the action there, guys? Well, the top one is being released out there. I have to say, this is a top one that nobody has ever done it here before. Because of Zach Levine and the team, they really are starting to make that pressure feel like they're going to get this thing done and rip all around each other. But not for long, they've been really are trying to make that one step up, and this is a tough one that they've already been taking it over. Well, I must say, this is a tough one that they were doing. The last one I never seen it what was going to happen like that. And I dare, this was a tough one that everyone was doing. There's a no uh, take away from that. This point is going to turn out to be an awful run. But not with this thing, but uh, keeps it on going. They're going to get this one a little bit much better if they are doing this before. Now the pass to Eldema. He's in the corner right now with Scotty Barnes. Inside the middle, by elbow shot. Good stop by Jacob Porto. He has his first rebound taken away from the other side. This angle that's been putting up here, Jacob Porto is an excellent, strong defense. This was how the hard happens. Oh, Dennis Schroeder had that two jam down. Yeah, that one a good early start to have that one with a 4-2 run. This lane was a turn off to be a walk off, not a choice. Oh man, Dennis Schroeder! This is a tough one to make that start. Here on the other side we have Spain. And now back the other way, Conchar, back to Bain. Here's a three for Jackson Jr. Puts a swish it! That will be a first starting of the lineup for Jackson Jr. As right now, the first assist will come up here for Memphis. Siaka, right on to Jackson Jr. With a cut in and take away by Bayambo. He has his first block of rejection of the night, and now we'll swing it over to Bain. The top one is very to key easily, and this was a lot of a hard strength for the setup. This was a good defensive re re rejection, and I love that one to take. This is a tough one that everyone has been doing it, guys. And as we are looking forward to this, Jackson Jr. says a free throw line shooting two. The first personal foul will be called on Pascal Siakam, as right now their first team foul will be up for one. First trip to the free throw line for Memphis Grizzlies shooting two. They will have their rally up to make that one feel anything. The first free throw is off the mark. And you know that Jackson Jr. was definitely uh, one of the best players here in the Memphis Grizzlies. He was all it turns out. With his father, Joe Jackson Sr., he's gotten some great help of his communication. He has been telling him. Son, you have to do it of your best. This was how the hard one comes in, so you don't want to maintain it. Do your best, don't try to give up, and this was a hard one to try to take from here. You don't want to make that one feel uncomfortable, you just gotta make sure you stay this way in the game right away. Here's Siakam. Oh, he made it with one hand dunk down! Got a great pass right away! And it ties it up here for six. Just about four minutes remaining. Oh, I ain't never seen one of those like that. 
Looks like my son Siakam just got in one hand dumped down. Jackson Jr. finds over by Ambo around it back and he takes the layup right around Portal. He has his first bucket as Jackson Jr. has the assist. Right now it's a two point lead for Memphis Grizzlies and back the other way is Schroeder. Bane watching him in the middle on an OB with the making of a look of a left hand layup. They put it back the other way as right now it is tied back again. They're going all over the place there just trying to make it fair and square. We're just going to get this one right down here as soon as they come. As right now, Memphis Grizzly had the last game. They've already played against the Phoenix right from the preseason. They have really definitely made out of well with the loss. And you know that was the last part of a previous season before the game opener here at number eight. This was a very tough one and nobody has ever seen like that. So whenever you can't just tell, you mean you don't want to make that one feel uncomfortable. <laughs> no, why? Not even anybody. Top block shot by Bayombo, and back again to Schroeder, and now goes back to Barnes. Down to two, with the shot. Oh, he couldn't even make it that point. This was tough, and I gotta say, Bayombo is making that block shot. That was a tough one, and no one has been calling that before. <laughs> oh, really good tough one to be out there, for sure. Bayombo back over to Bain. Just about five to shoot. Three point range for Aldama. Good shot on the outside target. He has his first three pointer. And right now it's a 13 to 8 lead as they lead up by five. Scotty Barnes will have to take their first time out with only 2.17 to go. On the hard, hot start for Memphis Grizzlies for tonight. It looks like they're looking to get some extra help here if the man offense is putting up to work. Yeah, it's a better way to make that one for Sabo. Just the great look of an angle drive. They're just going right from bottom stop to the finish line. They're just trying to like get right into the, the top start of a key before the end of the first period. Each quarters are turning out very good. And with that, with the coach's uh, suggestion, they're just making that one combined up into one of each of the offense on his set. The skills is that tough and simple. This was a tough one and everyone has been doing it. So far, however, they really are going to make that one step up much prouder than anyone does. They're just getting a lot of great targets to make that one maintain. As right now, we have that one a good strength of this setup. We have a new Toronto head coach. As right now, we definitely have spotted that Nick Nurse has been up here with the Sixers right now. And Doc Rivers is a number of com com commentary tater of the group. Just making sure what it goes now. And a new one is Darko Rajakovic. Rajakovic. If you don't know how to pronounce the name, try to make sure you have that one right. Yeah, it's definitely here. Uh, Rajakovic. It's another way to get this one done. Swing ahead. Tough one you can't get away with. New group substitution as right now. Four players are checked out. Four players are checked in. And also the, with the Raptors on the other side. Then a shooter keeps him on the court. Here's McDaniels, Trent Jr., and Nachua with Young. Here's Rowdy. On the outside, he will have two minutes remaining in the first period of the game. He goes right now to Bayambo. Two to a tough shot of the angle as it goes with the first Archua with the assist. Gilliard on shooter. Minute 45 left to go in the first period. Taking a look. And stopping by my elbow. That's the third time in a row. Mm -mm -mm. You don't mess this up. You make that one feel like you're on the run. Shooter on Gilliard. Try to take the attempt. And a two can't make him bite down. My has got his third rebound of a night, and he has three blocks in his career. It's tough to say now that everyone was going for a defensive breaking into the game. A lot of hard ones set there, folks. Nobody can deal with that. Firing the free, Laverto for a start, and he had that one a great start with the three pointer run, as La, La Ravia has his first three pointer of night. First and second time I've been called by Toronto Raptors. The extension now is cut up by 10. They're just going on with another new change up, and they need to make that one a lot of new changes to help on the offense. They really are starting to make that one pressure in. They're just getting away with anybody that wants to get away with that. 
DMBA on 2K Sports is brought to you part by your local Kia dealers, your home and dad spires. Starry Lines. And by AT&T. Fast, reliable, and secure. And we have expected to say that an Anime Insanity Invitational is out. So if you'd like to go check it out, head on down to Animation Epic as the link will be down here in the description for you guys. So you can definitely watch it so you don't miss out with the final four episodes. This was a crazy call with the game changer. I've got to tell you this, that Balloon is heading into the final three. Yeah, I guess so. It looks like that everyone's proud, proud fan favorite are ready to bring him in. And the tough one is, a possible, it's tough one, and I'm ready to see what's going on. And yeah, I definitely have to say, this is everybody's favorite. As we look at Dennis Schroeder, from his last game against, for the 16th season of the Game Inbound. And this last one turned out the harder than he has done. While the tough one is a lot of anticipation, they were really are showing a lot. The interference is all it takes for Dennis Schroeder to keep on shooting it. It's a tough one to take him over. Pocket one for Gary Trent Jr. as the foul will be reached here, our number one for Memphis. That will be his first personal foul on Williams. Can't we get away with that? Gary Trent Jr. had to make that one a great look of an offense of on his run, hitting the backboard and put it back in. The first trip to the free throw line will be for the Toronto Raptors with under one minute remaining in the first period. They are still coming back right down here strong with just coming into down to a trail by eight. They're looking to get another bucket here to get it back in. Trent Jr. will have it in. And now, here is Gilliard. He passes over to Grotty. Grotty pushes his way down to Williams. Williams trying to make a step back and go back over it again to Gilliard. Takes a move by Bayambo. Bayambo back over it again right now to Williams. Shoots over Trent Jr. and he made that one a good two perfect run. He has his first bucket. They have the extension right now with 19 of the 9. Here's Trent Jr. Takes it over. Dennis Schroeder with the assist and they are really back up by 7. There's no way that you are going to try to like leave a mark out of it. They are just trying to make them pay for it. You got it all down. You just really got to keep it going. Here's Williams back on the outside with 15 seconds to go. And now over are getting Gilliard. Here's Roddy. On his way down, inside, tight shot! Making a reverse drive and he has his first one to take his own point. He just got it very tricky, but he got it all. Oh man, I just really like his move. Three for Trey Jr., Buzz Beater won't go in. So that ends the first quarter. Memphis over Toronto with a 22-13 run. And we will be right back with you shortly after this. This is a great tough one to see the block by Bayambo, everybody's favorite defense. Oh yeah, I'll take them down. You've got to get rid of it. And if you're just tuning in, we are about to step into the second quarter. Memphis Grizzlies have gotten a great start with a three blocks for Bayambo. Yeah, and for you guys, of how he does. Well, the tough one is to take here, yeah, but Bayamba was missing out here for the Suns, and I really appreciate how well he does. He has been a legendary. He is going over with the blockers and the shot. They're trying to get the defenders with the comparison in between from two. And just to say there, it's just a lot of a heavy work here, but then no matter how hard you do, you just got to do it on your own. Yeah, tough one it is right now. And I know that Bayambo was really on to his impressive start. They're looking over it right now. Hopefully they can get right into the lane and get it back down. Here's Jackson Jr. back over again to Bain and now we'll find Aldama with the starting group presented by Gatorade. Set and ready. Bain and calls the jump ball in between by Trent Jr. and Bain. 
they will have a first look here in a season opener to have it all. Tough one down, you're never going to make that one easier. If you're going to try to take the ball away, you just got to make sure you have it right. Siakam will have the position over with for the Toronto Raptors. As right now, Trent Jr. is on the outside, cutting in again. Tough shot. Rolls in and out. Bain passes it again to Jackson Jr. And now finding Gillier. He goes right back to Bain. Looks finding again to Aldemar. Swings it over to Gillio. Now he moves back over to Bain. Step back at the two. Shot went off the mark. Achuo with the first rebound with under a minute to go. We're just on the start run in a second period. Trent Jr. trying to clear some space out. He looks over. Achuo is inside on a dunk. Oh, he made that one hand dunk down. The slam it down. And right now, Drake Jr. has the assist, taking back the air away right now with 545 remaining. That's how it does happen. A lot of slam jams at this moment of this announcer. He's got a lot of that crazy stuff along the way. There's just so much of them. I just really say that there is a lot to cover. After a drive here for Bane, here's, a, here's Trent Jr. Stopping with the solid run again, and now it's Lofton Jr. He will have his first rebound to take, and Gilliard on the outside. He pulls it over back to Lofton Jr. Now find Jackson Jr. Tries to look over again. Jackson Jr. will help him out. And right now we do have a report for David Aldridge. It's right now Taylor Jenkins. He has a lot of his report here for the Memphis Grizzlies after the playoff loss against the, the Lakers with an upset run. But this was all that does happen. This was a tough one that everybody's been calling for. They're just trying to get away with that. And with Taylor Jenkins, it's a tough season. They really are trying to get away with that. Nobody is getting the cover for it, but this is us. We needed to do this on our own to try to help them maintain. This pressure how Taylor Jenkins does, he has it all down. A pressure to take it from here. I've got a lot of the good feelings there. They're just going to try to make them feel like we are on the run. And we have the foul calling a loose ball for Lofton Jr. He will have his fourth foul. And now the new changes are on its way. Right now, as Conchar is checking in for, for Lofton Jr., and Aldemar will switch it back over again. Siakam and their team are making another new change here for the Raptors. And now Siakam's on his way down. And here's another fast break. Pushes off of him. Goes on a carry. Aldemar takes that one with a huge rebound. The takeover is not that less. But they all do. And Jackson Jr. slams down with the two. His unbelievable dunk. I just really had to say that this was a tough one. And I was seeing it before. They're just getting away with that one quick. And that was your 2K TV slam dunk cam on this best final performance for the team. Isiaka goes back to her way and says, take a look at this. Siaka got a jam again. They're going all over the place. Well, they're just trying to get away with this. They really are saying, we want more dunks. And I want to make that one revenge back. They're just trying to like, oh yeah, two's a tough now. Take the range out of it, and you can't get away with that. Jackson Jr., an unbelievable shot range. For the fadeaway, count the bucket, and they're just going all over it. Well, they say now, Jackson Jr., he's tough on the release, Ben Run. Three minutes remaining, a shooter try to pass over to Ananobi. He gives off to Siakam. Pushes. All right, on the mount, and a good drive carried in for Siakam. He has right now 20 points at home in this game, but trying to look for his run. And a bad pass, and Ananobi takes it over. Here comes the fast break, shooter for three. And that's a miss on the outside. Although that takes it over, and now gives a pass to Gilliard. Pace of Zlea will have his first look to make the appearance with the first bucket of a look. This drive was a lot that hard, but I just think of his experience this was a lot that is changing with the rookies done. They just trying to make that one kite foot. They're just really getting away with that. After a steal by Bain, he has that one taken over. He now gives it over to Jackson Jr. Now gives it over to Conchar. 
Two minutes remaining in the first half of the period. Gives it off to Aldema. Gives it back over now to Kanchar. Back step for the two. And another miss here by Memphis Grizzlies. Anobi on his way down. Barnes with an open look. Good look, but the target went off wide. It's not enough angle. You're not going to get that one successful if you know and you're trying to make that feet set and try to make that three pointer. Conchar passes over it again to Brian Bain. Finds Jackson Jr. Fade a shot. Back again out to Conchar. Three on a second. Without a time. And that will put it our way as Shooter will have his own rebound. Here comes the Yaka. Whoa! Whoa! That's a high flyer in the pipe. I just have to say, that Siakka was like the high flyer. Can't just get away with it, you know how to save it. Kiliar on his way down, now finds Aldama. He has a lot of them, but you have to pressure him. He's getting on to a good start. Jackson Jr., the spin away. The drive puts up for Jackson Jr. He has 12 points. Without John Morant, looks like he is all by himself, and I think he, he's going to do best on his own. Well, tough enough to be enough out there. Try to get away with it. You just don't want to leave it behind. Aldama finding again over now to Bain. In the corner right now, finding over Aldama. Passes again to Conchar. Conchar passes now to Aldama. Pick a back step. Now finds Conchar. Five seconds on the shot clock. With the look, Bain stepping over Chua. Sorry, Scotty Barn. Apology on an OB, excuse me. And he has that bucket down. Well, they're just going over it again. They've just really been really stuffing it from here. And this is a lot that's hard what they're trying to get. This was a tough one that they're getting it through. Shooter for the buzz beater. And that will end the first half here. 46 to 23 is your score. We'll be right back with the second half to start off the third quarter. Be right back, folks, after this. Halftime is next. Greetings, folks. Let's have a look here for the first half as we start off for the 2K Sports. This is where we start things off. The great start of the Memphis Grizzlies. We are seeing things on a great big screen to make that one feel improvement by them. As for the Memphis Grizzlies, they are already been just pushing themselves down. Great free blocks for Mayumbo, and this is a hard one to take. On the other side for Toronto Raptors, let's have a look. They is trying to make that one feel quick enough to go right from here, but that hard one is a tough one to maintain. I can always say that this one is not that easy for them, because they are just trying to get over it and under it. And not for the best one that everybody has been counting on, but this was a hard one to maintain it, but just pressure it and make it count. And that will wrap it here for the first half of the game. Thank you so much for watching for the halftime show. Let's send you back down to the court in Canada. That was 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to Toronto F. Scotty at Bank Arena. We're about to start off for the third quarter of the second half. We all care for the ultimate man of Jaron Jackson Jr. He is on the roll with the first half of this game turning out for his biggest lead of a night. And all has to say now Jackson Jr. is a tough one to be clear. You know the biggest stunts? Because they are really up to a strong start. Yeah, I must say, he's really that good. And prove it all, you can't get rid of him. Here to starting boost for the Raptors. Uh, now, courtesy fueled up by Gatorade, ready to go. And right now, Dennis Schroeder has it across here with Desmond Bain. Aaron Jackson Jr. is out with the whip pass off Siaka. OG Ananobi on Kinchar. Back over it again, right down the outside, we have his Aldama on to Scotty Barnes and Bayamo on Portal. Bayamo's been doing really good in the first half, looking to get another way to get another two bucket scores and another block to make that defense run. Well, his toughness is on a great strike, shoulder strike. I must say, he's been a, a, a dominant run, a pressuring, a, he is a, a legend. A true worker being unstoppable. Jacob Portal has that one.
on the takeover after assisted by Pascal Siaka. That will be another assist on this run. As right now the Raptors are trying to tra take them back. This offense is a lot that hard. I must tell you, tough one is everybody's ending hustle from the inbound. Back again to Conchar, now finding Aldema. Five seconds in a shot clock. Conchar, fadeaway shot over Barnes. Another miss by Memphis Grizzlies. Jacob Polo, another pickup rebound and going back the arrow way to find Dennis Shooter. Screen puts it in. Now he's on his way down, trying to pick up another run. Stop the pressure, and he's fouled. That will be picked up by Jackson Jr., who is forced personal. That will be another team foul for Memphis Grizzlies as Jacob Portal at the free throw line shooting two. The Raptors are making another free, never trail trips to the free throw line shooting two with just only 5.19 to go. Yeah, I must tell you, a lot of rebounding are just impossible to make that one in between. But no matter how hard you do, you just don't want to make that one too complicated. This is how hard it gets. And you may never know when it does come out. Don't feel that uncomfortable. First free throw pro comes in for Jacob Portal. Now with a new substitution, as right now, three players are checked Four players are checked in and four players checked out. Derek Rose, Zara Williams, Zarati, and of course, Ultimate Smith, Smith's main man, Keldon Jr. Trent Jr. and Chua are checked in for the Toronto Raptors. Second free throw will send in for Jacob Porter. Memphis going in for another new switches. Here's Derek Rose, he will give it over again to Williams. He gives a pass back over to Rose. Rose up for the two. Fadeaway shot, not in a hustle, but he's already like on a quick move to try to make them go falling down. The screen puts him up. Here's Trent Jr. And now pick up another drive for another two point bucket score. Raptors trail by seven. Lofton Jr. finding a way right to Ross. Rose, excuse me. Roddy on the outside. Lofton Jr. trying to make a numbers quick move. Shot clock down to five. Rose in a shot. Two pointer misses. Barnes reaching over across the other side. He now finds Trent Jr. Makes a pass to Barnes. On a cut move, take the two hand dunk down. With a lot of hustle, as right now Barnes had that assist. There is a lot of tough one and inspiration as Gary Trent Jr. had that one assisted down. It looks like they are just on their feet. 405 remaining. Here's another one for Rowdy on the outside to finish the arc. And a reverse scoop and drive for Roddy. He has a second bucket. A lot of field goals percentage on the high range inbound. This is a tough one that they are trying to take. Yeah, it's not easy enough. They just really have to find another way to do this. Two pointer can't hit the mark as Roddy gives it back over again to Conchar. Now Conchar gives it over to get a Roddy. Roddy find a cut. Derek Rose. Two pointers in. He finally has that bucket down. As right now, Gar Gary Lee has that one with the assist. Here's Trent Jr. trying to put a cover on Rose. Now Barnes on Williams. 3.15 left with the fadeaway. Misses again. Williams with the second rebound. A lot of putting the hustle inbound and Rose, he's on the finishing height. Tough when you say that Derek Rose is cool. But how can you make that finish drive? Well, that's a number one. You gotta step it through it. <laughs> that's right. I know this is a tough one, you guys, but you always gotta know, make the deal. Next time I've been called by Toronto Raptors. As right now, they're making some new changes here to go with their offense and their defense to try to watch their mans. It's not a great day to have that win to face off with the Chicago Bulls if they're in back when they play in tournaments. They've already been playing it so many times, but in the way he's been, been keeping it on and off, in and out. It's a tough way that nobody has ever taken it before. Well, I must say that this was a very that hard response. Can't just really say you're never going to win that all, because that is never going to happen like that.
Well, I must tell you, there's going to be a lot of uh, card breakdowns in between on uh, defense for the teams because of uh, Jar Darkovich is bringing a lot of uh, heavy tights. They're just really like trying to make the aggression work. But this offense is not even clearing up that any thoughts of its idea. All it does happen now, we just don't really want to get away with this. And we made some changes here as right now Toronto Raptors are making a new change with offense. They're right now on the court. Deep pass over to Hanganobi. He's on over again. Trying to make a new switch off. Fine strength junior for three. And the switch button in. They're coming back in. They're trying to keep up the guard from moving. This is tough and strife. That's what everybody does. Finds Lockton Jr. Got a good two. Now that with a quick assist early as right now. That's Roddy. Picking up another assist, the run. Or Aldama. Whatever you call that one here, they can't tell. Well, it's, I'm not even sure if it is Roddy or not, but just don't make that one feel like it is all out of here on the mind. They're just really like trying to step in there quick. Well, tough one it is, honestly. They're just making that one work. Yeah, they can't just let it, let it get away with it. All they can't do, they can't run it. LaRavia right over inbound for Boucher and he's fouled. That will be his first foul for Boucher as right now the number team foul has been picked up for the Toronto Raptors. The next game will be happening here will be in Cleveland as right now they will have their time to take the day off. And right now as we will be having a couple games here, the Knicks and the other teams are going to make that one feel, but they're going to have to try to go up with their other over or under with their pick. The free throw will put in, as right now La Rubia will have the first take with the free throw. Achua sits out for the game, as right now a new changeup is put up for Calico. Second free throw will send in as right now La Rubia will have it here with five points. Raptors trailing by a point. Tra trailing by 12 and it's taken over and now Williams on a fast break. Looks over. Rose finds a way and good pass to Lofton. Derek Rose had the assist down and their run puts up a 12 to 3 run instant. They're just going over strike. Keeping eyes up there. They just really are making their way down there and this is like a toughness. They just really can't get away with it. Like they are going from here. Another field goal percentage should come in for the Toronto Raptors with only a minute and 20 to go. Lofton Jr. passes again to Williams. He looks over to Rose. Rose back again now to Williams. Now finds Roddy. Now back again to Rose. Five on the shot clock, three to shot. Arabia over Boucher. And that tough shot puts in. Arabia had that one on another two bucket score. And Derek Rose with the assist. That good changeoff. This score was not really the tough one if everyone's going. And there's nobody open with behind. As right now, he makes a three pointer, he dishes it. It's tough on a side here, and nobody is coming in the man on offense. Nobody is coming in the man on defense. This is uh, how that happened before. They don't want to get away with this. That's all the point it is. Rose finds again in La Rivia. Now back to Rose. Five on the shot clock. Cut in. Denied. OG Anobi with the first block. They now back it over. It says, no, sir, you can't stop. La Rivia will have his first foul. And it's right now their second first, second team foul. It's up for Memphis. That's what everybody can get away with. You get on an OB. Three players checked out. And I an OB will have will sit out for the game as Schroeder checks back in. Here's Schroeder to the cut. Nobody can guard that. As right now they're pulling it back in with the castle inbound. Bruce trying to make him catch up here. 
Or who's going in between. Yup, you just don't want to get away with this? You just gotta make them feel like you never saw that before. Now, back to Gilliard with 10 seconds remaining. He's a pass. It's it. Grizzly will have the possession with five seconds to go. Now to do change up, as this one will be calling for, on the other hand, Mayambo. Raptors are also making new changes as Boucher is checked out, and Siakam is checked in. On outside, finding out La Rabia. Deep free for Gilliard, and will be enough. So that is the third quarter, a 52-43 run. They are still up ahead. And it looks like we are coming down to the end of the wire for the season opener of the game. This is how everybody does. It's a great hard matchup. Everybody's game. They just can't get away with that one. They know the truth. And we will be right with you shortly when we come back after this. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you after the break. Three quarters are down, and we have one more quarter to go to get on to the fourth quarter. And Gilliard will have their possession with the ball, as right now we have the Percy Lamb fueled up by Gatorade, ready to set up for the last one in the first. Payne is covered on Trent Jr. Then we have a Schroeder on Gilliard. Conchar right on to Scotty Barnes. My elbow is with Phil Nachua. And Jackson Jr. on Siakam. Here's Schroeder on his way, sprinting down to the other side of the court. Looks to Siaka. Find his way down. Lost the ball, but it recovers it. Trying to for three. Swooshes it. On the outside of the range, coming back for another look on the offense. Looking to get a lead to try to stop one. Well, there might be a way. If they're going to try to hit the block, and they're going to make that one, make that one feel good to get a comeback. Conchar looks finding now to Bain. Looks it over. Step back over Siaka. Good shot. He's tough on a quick, easy run. 14 buckets. And Desmond Bain with the assist. They're just saying, Desmond Bain, you just don't have to get away with that. And Jackson Jr. comes in to take his own rebound. He finds Bayamo on his way down. Looks over to Gary Gilliard. Now back again to Conchar. Goes back to Gilliard and now over now to Jackson Jr. With a step inbound, good tough shot. As God, Jackson Jr. has the 16 points in this game. Jackson Jr. just didn't really notice how he's been able to have that one at all. Well, there might be a one way that they're gonna get it down. Barnes on the outside finding Shooter. And they have calling the defensive call on the player that on Bayamba. Well, there's no way that Bayamba was on the uh, pipe. They're just saying that it is a free second violation on the defenseman. They're just going to get a technical free throws here for Dennis Schroeder. And that was all it takes. Schroeder hit off the rim too soon. Because right now, he has that one missed. Two players are coming in right now for the Memphis Grizzlies. As right now, Aldemus watching him in the eye on Craig carefully as Bain will have his look on their offense. Get up another look. Siakam, two pointer, catches in. Another assist comes up with Vachua. Here comes Aldemus back the other way with five minutes remaining. And Bain back the other way. He now gives off to Rowdy. Fade the shot. Now find Conchar. Overlooking the Bain. Coming in for the screen. Jackson Jr. looks inside. Jr. up. Rebound in reverse around Aldama. I'm sorry, Chua. He has 18. Well, it's never going to be easy enough to right now if you're just going to try to save the die. You just got to, like, say, crush it, you said. You've had a lot that hard to handle. This was all it takes. Siakam with a two-pointer around the inside of the paint with 12 points with 4.20 to go. Memphis up by eight. Looks at Conchar. Looks over to Nana Bain. Wide open look for Roddy. Rebound takes it back. 
Bain, try to reset it to Aldama, try to look on a motion. Just six to shoot. They have to get that. Bain, for an open look. And Kaisis in for that side. From deep three, he had up with the lead, a 61-50 run. This score was tough and angle. I have to say, we're just going big banging. This motion is outside, is going all over. And as for the other one, speaking of which, OG Ananobi got a number three pointer. Well, they're just going to try to take it back for sure. They really want to keep it going, they just want to make the close game work. Bay now finds again to Conchar. Six on the shot clock. Roddy on the outside. Take it around the angle, and the two pointer catches in. Roddy has his fourth bucket down with 3.15 remaining. 63 53. They've still trailing by 10. Shooter waits around on the outside of the corner. For a step in. Siakam with the screen. Unable to take one. Jackson Jr. had that block. And Barnes with the two. Rolls it and out. Roddy with an arrow rebound now finding over Conchar. Gives it over to Jackson Jr. Takes it back to Aldama. Good ball movement from Memphis Grizzlies, and he lost the ball. Chua will have that rebound taken over. Siakam on a run, and on his way down, makes a layup. As another taking over with a timeout call by Memphis Grizzlies with only 2.32 left. There's no other way. They just really are going to make that one feel like, but they are going to need some help. They're just going to get that one a fantastic finish for Siakam. He is an epic finisher. Second to last time of remaining is right now. They're just going to make that one new changeable work. Offense, got to get there steady. The faster it'll go, the more you will have. The NBA, the NBA season of the 2K Sports is brought to you part by New Era, the official cap here of the NBA. State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Puma. And as of right now, we have some time to re present your New Balance Player of the Game. And this all game goes out to all the best, Jaron Jackson Jr. This is all that does happen now. Jackson Jr. is a deliberation. He is an excellent star. From his player on, his defense, his skills, he finally has a block. He's been really up for him tonight. Tough season. They just say that he's all in it. Without John Morant, you just don't have to get away with that. The Raptors trailing, the Raptors making the trail here, as right now they're trailing down here by seven. We have a report here from David Aldridge as right now they're just going over. Jackson Jr. has his most career to take this game. And he's been on his, uh, his way downtown to make the mark out of him with a lot of his courtesy. The strength is everybody is improving it. They're just getting right around it. They are just flying it by. I know they're just getting away with that, but not to worry. They're just really on a great step up run. He's being passed it by Elmo. Now swings it over again to Conchar. Conchar back to Bain. He moves back over to Conchar. Try to pull around on him, and now finds Bain. Looks over to Bayambo. Around a setup, and the drive will be put up with a foul on Jacob Portal. There'll be another foul, and there's another team fouls picked up for Toronto. This tough one is enough for a strength in game. I just have no idea what to say, but this was a very tough to keep that one out of sight. Number for real trip to the free throw line for the Memphis Grizzlies with only a minute and 42 to go. This has been on a rough start for the Toronto Raptors here, folks. Yeah, tough one, nobody can care about. First free throw went off the mark. 
They're just trying to make that one feel like they were going to need to try to like keep their eyes open. They just really want to like try to look at the target and look at what you're going and then don't get there yourself too uncomfortable. Right now our number needs to switch up as we pick up three or four number team. And you will have that one with a miss, with the two free throws and the nine. Bayamo has missed it right now, and he has never have made that one in advantage to make that free throws. And that was a tough one, but he took. Not easy for him. He didn't want it all. It just happens now. Siaka right around underneath the rim and had that slam down. And Frodo, anybody can do that. Not just only the players who are good at it. And Charles passes now to Aldemar. Just about a 1 minute and 15 left to go. He have to win too soon. Here's Barnes to take their own. He's fouled. Conchara with his first personal and another team foul for Memphis. There is a lot that on, a lot of tricky motion. This drive is not even that clear. They're just getting away with it too soon. It looks like it's Scotty Barnes. Says, that's the foul. That's the foul I need. They're taking it over. You can see the reaction from his head coach. He was saying that he feels like he is that comfortable to get him on work to try to take him out. I just got to keep on working up with a lot of bunch of play inbounds. Yeah, tough one is everybody. The key is make it bright. Barnes hit off the free throw too soon. And right now he will have to take one more free throw to try to make the close call. The connection is turning to be a hard one to take him down, but relax its way. It's a tough one to try to stick him out. And Barnes will have the free throw down. Who's been just about a one minute remaining in the fourth quarter. And Conchar back again to Aldama. The fans are making a loud rumble in this stadium. Looks now to Jackson Jr. Fitting the shot. Now find Bain. Flies it over. Free for Conchar. Goes in and out. Portal back to Barnes and now finds Trent Jr. To New York. Two point good. Back down by four. And now Bain had a run. Takes it over by Bayamo. And now we'll have the foul picked up on Scotty Barnes. That will be his first and second team foul for Toronto. With 33 seconds remaining, it is 66-62. They're looking to beat the upset run. They're trying to end the Memphis Grizzlies run on attack. There's no right, but they're going to have to try and like leave them out. You just have to stay inbound with the push-off. The free throw misses. Oh man, they are starting to go over and under. It looks like their fans are just making a rumble out of him. They do not want that. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't want to make that avoid ball. Don't make them too much. Second free throw unable to make. And now Barnes and her team is on their way. Looking to get a lead, find Schroeder. Screen finding its way. Schroeder, two, on his way down and good. They're looking to tie this run up for the season opener. And now back the airway. Here's another look. The up and now find Alabama. And now in the corner. Open look. Jackson Jr. Hit the rim. Time on call on the Toronto Raptors with only 11 seconds to remain. Oh, I don't think he wasn't able to be sucked here at this point. Because it looks like that Jared Jackson Jr., he just messed up the three. He just didn't really want to make it that far. And let's have your decision making of this game. This is going to be a close call. If they're going to get into the overtime for this first start of the game, this offense has already been struggling with this one. We really are starting to look for a run. Am I thinking there might be a way to get it done? What do you think? Well, I'm not even sure how this is going to happen, but you know. The point is, it's, it's a lot that hard. Everyone is trying to pull him out. Maybe just one way, 
I figured this was going to be a, a hard one to go into overtime. What do you think, Life Ring? Do you think this will go into overtime right now? Well, I'm not sure this will happen. Because they're really just starting to pick him up that soon. Nobody would have that going. But maybe the key is, let's make it more fair, fair deal. We'll find out what happens. Alright, so thanks again, you guys, for the prediction. And it's right at this moment, this is where it starts now. With just 11.6 seconds, it's a close game. They're looking for a tie or take the lead. And uh, here we go. Just about 10 seconds. Siakam. Finding a look. To try to tie it. In and out. Went back. Inbound. Shot. On rejected. Jackson Jr. takes it over with the stop on run. The superstar ends the game. A 66-64 devastation run as we have David Aldrich standing by. David, who do you have on the court with you? Kevin, thanks a lot. Derek, congrats on the win. I know this wasn't the night you wanted offensively, but how do you take this anyway when you win the game? Uh, win is a win, don't get me wrong, but I know I could have played better. I got my teammates that came to help me tonight. Ace with huge plays, and we got the win. Well, a good team takes up the guy when he's not playing well, and they did that for you tonight, Derek. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you so much. And I will wrap this up for the first game. It is a tough one to be honest. A 66 to 64 run was an end of a way for Toronto Raptors. I know the tough one is. It's always a key matchup. They love to hear that one without John ja Morant. And I'm picking Jackson Jr. crosses it down. Yeah, I like that one. This is the bad feeling right now. I mean, no hard feelings for that. Turned out to be the best thing on earth. And now we close things up here for the team comparison in between. This is how they did of all this hard work. This offense was a lot that hard, but the strategy and their taking, this was not that easy enough to make that one feel like they are out of the way. But this was all it does turn out with 63%, 50% here for the field goals and three pointers for the Memphis Grizzlies, 67 for the free throws. Eight fast break points for Grizzlies, 40 for Toronto Raptors, and second chance pinch assist it turned out to be all free for Memphis Grizzlies. Offensive rebounds is picked up for Toronto Raptors and 19 defensive rebounds for Memphis. There was a lot, sorry, there was a two steals that put up for Toronto and six blocks maintained for Bayambo and Jackson Jr. Yeah, these are the two stars. They're just on the run. Turnovers has been already been taken over with the points off. 14 fouls were given here for both teams. Eight dunks for Toronto Raptors, beating over two dunks for Memphis Grizzlies. 14 biggest lead of the night for Memphis, and 15.57 was their time of possession. Now, it's time to figure out the three star players of the game to start with. Life Ring, you're up first. All right, thank you so much. Right now, we start off with the third star player. We go right into here. We're going to give this one a good off run to have it pick him up. And this all calls for Pascal Siaka with four dunks, 16 points, one rebound, incredible two assist run, 8 to 12 field goal percentage. And that was all it does turn out a 21 performance run. He's been on a great run so far. Looking to get another one. On to you, Woodspoonie, for number two. Number two, as we're getting things right along, as we're going to get the scene, a crossover to Gary Trent Jr. He's got 17 points, one rebound, two assists, and that 21 performance run. Excellent to kick the carry for 7 out of 12 field goal percentage, and an excellent make for three pointers of 2 over 3. Just had it all, you just can't get away with this guy of being going fast. Now for you, Son of Beast, for number one. Thank you. For number one, I guess that it all does turn out we do have a winner. And this one goes to a New Balance player of the game, Jaron Jackson Jr. 21 minutes on the court, 18 points was remained, two blocks has been taken over. This offense turned out to be a biggest one of the night, with two assists, three rebounds, and 22 performance run. He is an incredible guy. 
with a pressure, one dunk, 8 out of 11 field goal percentage, and only had one three-pointers. So wrap, that wraps it up here for the first game of the night. A little bit of a loss and a disappointment run. Your final score was 66 to 64. And that's a good thing. You can see that one on the bottom as well. So that ends up for the first game. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for the next game as we will be finding out what next matchup will be. This face-off will have to be in between for the NHL matchups in each season. But there might be a lot of them that are going to get this thing done and possible. Like most players, not just uh, for the us, for comedians. <laughs> no hard feelings that might. It's a hard one. You just got to like let it go by. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. And as we're always been being said, we can really appreciate you. Stay tuned for our next game as we will get the next matchup on 2K Sports of the Hawks vs. Clippers at LA. And this one will be the next one to keep your eyes on. Peace out, folks, for a while as the season opener of the NBA 2K24 dial. This is, this is me, Son of Beast, along with my crews of Wood Spoonie, David Aldrich, and Life Rain. This has been a presentation of the NBA 2K24 Sports of the Night. We'll see you all again for the next game. Peace out. Until next time. Be sure to follow me on my social medias. And don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, somebody will. See you all again for the next matchup. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.